I mentioned in our Gilda server and I retweeted it with a comment, the video of the attack, uh, that Paul Craig Roberts, I don't know if you guys know who Paul Craig Roberts is. I've mentioned Paul Craig Roberts multiple times, right? Multiple times over the years. I've quoted him, referenced him, stuff like this. And I've been following Paul Craig Roberts for a long time two decades i don't know as long as i've been following glenn greenwald right and glenn greenwald i started following when he was a, still a lawyer and he gave a presentation about privacy and stuff like this and this was in the beginning of 2000s right so about 25 years whatever it is 22 20 years let's say 20 years plus i've been following glenn greenwald and paul craig roberts hit my radar around the same period right and about 10 years ago over 10 years ago i started hearing paul craig roberts say criticize russia right uh and say that uh russia is going too soft on the united states now remember paul craig roberts was in the U uh reagan administration right people will say he's right wing, but he's not right wing relative to what the democrats what the left is like there, there is no paul craig roberts right now the left would consider him left right if you want to talk about anti-war and stuff like this but he came out 10 12 years ago he started saying that russia is going too soft on the western world because russia doesn't understand the neocon mentality because paul craig roberts knew about the neocon mentality because he dealt with them in the 1980s that's when they really got a fucking foothold in the united states of america right through a boring and christian movement even though they were given birth to in the 1960s or early 1970s right they got a foothold in u.s politics huge demographic with the born again christian movement the zionist christians in the 1980s and we are where we are now right he was coming out 10 years ago 10 plus years ago going russia's making a mistake putin's making a mistake they're going too soft on the united states because they don't understand the neocon mentality these new neocons do not understand anything else other than force because russia is going so soft on them these neocons think that they can do anything they want and they're going to push it so far that the only thing that's going to be left is for russia to nuke the entire western world so that's putin's mistake that's russia's mistake and he kept on saying that russia what russia needs to do right now is end ukraine end it decisively should have ended it years ago that's what paul craig roberts was saying i'm like dude and he, and he was like saying, if they resist, annihilate them, right? I'm like, poof, this guy's going hardcore. Why is he going so hardcore? Why is he going so hardcore, so hardcore, so hardcore? And it became clear in the last two years that, yeah, Paul Craig Roberts was right. Russia played softball with the Western world, and this is what they've done, right? They've annihilated, like in the West, Western governments, Western administrations have annihilated the Western world. We're in fucking free fall in terms of eco economy social um, stability safety net healthcare, education on on every front the western world is in free fall right maybe we've got parachutes with holes in it but we're starting to go faster and faster right japan uh, needing to basically having a margin call needing to sell some stuff they have to raise money to like there's so much stuff going on right and paul craig Roberts was right uh, and we've reached sort of the precipice where these psychopaths are cluster bombing cluster bombing on a sunday on a religious holiday a beach in crimea if you want to think about it as ukrainian or russian doesn't matter to me you can think about it whichever way you want right you can think of the population as russian or russian-speaking ukrainians because ukraine wants crimea back right because ukraine says that's crimean territory which means those are crimeans living there uh, the, the Ukrainian territory, which means those are Ukrainians living there, according to their definition, their understanding, their desires to take back Crimea. So Ukraine, the government in Kiev, 
with the help of the United States, just cluster bomb. Two ways you can look at it. Ukrainian families or Russian families. Either way is a fucking war ground. Right? With the help of the United States. Right? That's how fucking psychotic these neocons are. These exceptional people are. These chosen people are. Right? They're pushing us towards World War Three. And we're there already, gang. Russia's gonna go ape fucking shit. Russia's gonna go Russia's going to do now what Paul Craig Roberts was saying that they should have done ten years ago. And Russia's gonna go ape shit on the Western world. What does that what does that entail? Well, they're gonna arm every every organization that is anti Western imperialism. And they're going to start giving up sophisticated weapons. And the United States having 800 military, 800 plus military bases around the world, right? I don't know how many are in NATO nations, but a shit ton are outside of NATO nations, right? And all those military bases, U.S. military bases that are outside of NATO nations, are now fucking got a target on them. Same with any other Western NATO aligned military bases including uk shipping ports airports planes everything is now has a target on it right paul craig roberts was right paul craig roberts was right unfortunately